Welcome to the Pick a Card. If you enjoy my videos, please click like and subscribe. And next to the sus subscribe button is a bell. And if you click that, you'll be notified of future videos. Take some time, look at the three piles, decide which figure you want to go with. Pile one, two, or three. Now, let's say that you pick one and you decide later, you know what, I wish I would have listened to the other one. Do it. Listen to all three. There could be information in all three for you. But to begin with, you might want to just pick one pile and see where it takes you. All right. If you, the timestamps are going to be listed below also, if you want to just skip ahead to your pile. So we're going to start with pile one. Thank you for picking pile one. Your message begins now. Your urgent message is the world. You're going through a big change right now. That's why this is urgent. There's going to be people watching what you will do. Um, this, is, this is like one cycle of your life ending and beginning a new cycle. It's literally going to be a big change. So this is you. Yes, you've got some burdens on your shoulder. But guess what? You're going to balance it all out and you're going to a better place. You're going up the stairs. You're headed to something better. And you're balancing out your life. You're balancing out something in your life. Something in your life needed attention. It needed you to balance it out. And this is what you're doing. And it's taking you on a journey to something better. Wow, you're going to be working, um, some of you will be working in a large organization, some of you will be wanting the cooperation of others, and yet I feel like also there's work on the marriage, work on a relationship. Let's focus on a relationship and see where this takes us. There's going to be an opportunity offered by the universe, an opportunity. Now, you're in retreat mode. So make sure you pay attention to what's being offered because this just feels like a disconnect, like there's an emotional disconnect. I need a break and then along comes the opportunity. Make sure you don't miss it. Wow. You are definitely going to follow what's right for you. No longer are you going to let others influence you, distract you. You are going to choose the path that you want and you're going to go down that path. So these are really, really good cards. Is this change going to be good? 100% yes. None of these cards are red flags to watch for anything. You're in a, a natural cycle of change. It's taking you to a better space. Now this also talks about you want to do some planning, right? You might want to do a little bit of planning around this. Maybe there's a large organization that you've been thinking about um, and maybe you would reach out to them. This could be you reaching out to the organization. Now they may not respond right away. Be patient. Be patient. You're on the right path. Those of you who chose pile one, your urgent message is, yes, you've got big change coming. It's good change and you're on the right path. Those of you who selected the B, your reading begins now. Woo, card movement. Let's find out. Ooh, wow, somebody's reaching out. Are you helping someone? Is someone helping you? This is reaching out for help, reaching out for information. What's in that scroll? Wow, this is the Eight of Wands. There's movement. There's movement. Someone's going to be reaching out for help. Maybe this is an, a message for you to reach out for help. You don't have to do things on your own. By the way, if you wondered what the theme of your life is right now, inner strength. Inner strength. You're developing inner strength. So find ways because there's flowers here and she's not really harming the lion. She's having compassion. So this is inner strength. Developing your inner strength. What can you do that brings joy and develops your inner strength of who you are? Accepting yourself for who you are and that you're a strong person. Now, judgment card. So something here is amiss. So maybe you have a partner that's going through a hard time. Maybe they're not giving you enough attention. Maybe it's, you know, you don't know what to do with this out of control child at home. <laughs> you know, I mean, things are out of control right now and you're a little closed off emotionally. So yeah, life is hard. 
Life is hard. For some of you, this coat of arms is dragging me that you might have family issues. You might have some family challenges that you have to get through. But remember, you're strong. You're strong. You can tap into this inner strength. You don't have to overpower anyone. You just have to, have to know that inner, inner strength can be um, a good thing. Oh, we have another eight. You guys have two eights. This is all about power for you guys. The the good use of power, the bad use of power. Um, and this is feeling like I don't have any choices in my life, like I'm stuck. And however, she's not really stuck. You're not really stuck. But in your mind, you're thinking that there's nowhere to go. And then all of a sudden, the Queen of Swords shows up. And so what I'd like to say about those of you who chose this pile, it's your urgent message is the Queen of Swords means use your thinking mind in a positive way. Instead of thinking you're trapped, thinking about how can you develop freedom in your life despite what's going on. Um, so you can think like disempowering thoughts. You can worry until the end of the day. But change is created when you suddenly realize, okay, what do I have control over in my life and where can I move forward? And then taking the steps that you have power to take very powerful reading, you guys. Particularly, don't forget that you can reach out. You can reach out to others for help, all right? And this information is going to be important to you, by the way. The Queen of Swords means gather information to empower you, not disempower you. If, if you're having issues in a relationship or in a family situation, reach out for the help of others, maybe even others who are above you. See, in other words, above you doesn't mean in status. It means that they have knowledge of how to get through this, how to get through this. Reach out. Know that you don't have to do everything yourself. And when you find yourself thinking sabotage thoughts or victim thoughts, stop yourself. Stop yourself and say, what do I have control over? What decisions can I make now? You're not trapped. Only your mind believes that you are. Powerful reading for you guys. It's a good message and it's life-changing for you guys. If you pick the little extraterrestrial little figurine, your reading is next. All right, your starts out with some challenges. You've got some challenges in your life. Feels like you're alone in the boat and the turbulent waters around you and you've distanced yourself from a situation. There's another person who's influencing it. It's a king of cups. This can be a family person. This can be a leader. This can be a boss. Somebody's influencing your thoughts. Could be that father that raised you, a boss that you had. You're being influenced. So in this turbulent time, you're, you're thinking, wow, there's someone that is influencing the situation. So in the past, uh, you may have been overcome by fear. Some of you might be suffering anxiety. You could be having depression. You might have maybe think you've lost your job and you feel, I mean, this is definitely feeling alone in the world and burdens and you don't know where to turn to. And do you stay home or do you go out or do you follow what they tell you to do or, or do what you feel is the right thing to do? So that's definitely a card about burdens and fear. But never fear. Never fear, because this card means that in a group, a group can help you. So don't do this on your own. This is a group energy, and you, they will know what to do. And they'll say, here's what you have to do. And they will all have unique perspectives, and you'll be like, yes, I am so happy that I contacted you because it gave me positive movement. Whoa, you guys ended with a very powerful card, Ace of Swords. You are definitely going to have some powerful thinking patterns. You're going to start something new. You're going to, like, I am not going to live fear-based anymore. I'm not going to live in fear. I'm going to start creating the life that I want to live. And I'm going to make my decisions from a higher point of view in my life. I'm going to see things in a little different light than what I saw them before. The mountains. Look at the good sun coming up. You guys have something really good just around the corner. So believe it, think it, create it, be strong. You guys are resilient. You can get through anything. Hang in there and change your thinking minds to work for you. And there's no stopping you.